Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to install Silver 2019 and I'm going and after that I'm going to install domain controllers on the Silver 2019s. So now let's get started. First of all, I'm going to build a VM in Hyper-V for Silver 19. I'm going to right click, go to new virtual machine. Click next. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it DC 2019, Domain Controller 2019. It's going to be stored on my D drive under Hyper V. I'm going to click next. It's going to be Generation 2. Click next. Memory. I'm going to give it. 8 gigs. Click next. I'm going to connect to the external video um, network card. Next, I'm going to give it 40 gigs. And next, install operate system later. Click next and finish. I'm going to boot from the ISO files by going to the settings and then boot. Okay, so I'm going to add a CD-ROM at new hardware, SCSI DVD. I'm going to add the image file. I don't have the ISO file here. Let me get it from my other computer. I'm going to pause the recording while it's copying. All right, I got the um, Silver 2019 ISO file here. Let's go back here. I'm going to select this file, click Apply, and OK. So I'm going to boot up the server. I should have booted from the CD. All right, there it is. So it, it's booting up from the ISO file. All right, the, here's the installation of Server 2019. I'm going to click Next. Click Install. This will take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the recording and we'll come back. All right, there's a standard Silver 2019 standard and there's the 2019 desktop experience. I want to choose the desktop experience. Click next. Accept license term. Customs, it's going to be on these partitions. Click next. All right, look like it's about to restart. Click on restart now. I'm going to enter the admin center. Click on finish.
Let's log in. All right. Now let's get started to install as is uh, the um, the domain controller. Click on Server Manager. Click on Manage. Click on Add Roles and Features. I'm going to check this box so it doesn't have to come up here again next time when I want to install the next um, roles. I'm going to click Next. Role Base and Features. Okay, this is the server name. I'm going to rename the server first. Let me rename the server and then we'll come back. I'm going to go to control panel. Oops. Going to change it to DC twenty nineteen servers. That's the computer name. Oh, it's a duplicate BIOS. All right, click OK. I'm going to reboot, restart now. Let's log in again. Launch Server Manager. Let's try one more time. Click next. Here's the server. Next. I'm going to choose domain active directory, active directory domain services. Add features. Click next. That's fine. I don't have to select anything here for now. Click next. Probably going to choose the Group policy, it's already chosen for me, so I don't need to choose it. Click Next. And you want to make sure it's you have chosen to install Active Directory Domain Service. Click Next. Restart if required. Click on Install. This will take a few minutes. I'm going to close this window and now you see the little lo uh, notification here you want to click on that and go to promote the server to the main controller so now you have three options here one is to add domain controller to an existing domain and add a new domain to an existing forest or add a new forest we're going to add a new forest Let's give it a company's name. I'm going to call it Let's call it O365 Tube. dot PRI. 
click next. Here, select functional level of New Forest. As you can see, there's a uh, Windows 2008 to Silver 2016. I'm going to leave it 2016. And the down functional level, it's 2016, is the minimum. The DNS server, it's not required if you use if you use something else besides Microsoft DNS servers. But in this case, I'm going to install the DNS servers. Global catalogs, global catalog is required since this is the first domain controller. Read only domain controller. Since this is the first primary read only domain controller, it cannot be it cannot be read only domain controller. So, so I'm going to give it the password here. The password is allow you to access this domain control service. And this page here is just a warning that um, it cannot find the O365 tube.pri. It cannot find it because it's it's the first um, DNS servers. So I'm going to ignore this for now and click next. It's basically it's going to create the O365 tube.pri in the DNS server. So let's, let's you can ignore that and click next. BIOS name. The BIOS name you can change to whatever you want, but I'm going to leave it as 0365 tube. Click next. Here's the uh, three paths. The database is the the uh, top path. And the log files is the second path. And the sysvol folder is the third path. This is where the GPO policies are stored when you create um, a GPO. This is where we're stored. You can change this later, or you can change it now. So I'm going to leave it as default. Click Next. And here's the. Um, the summary page and if you want to look to view the scripts you can run the script without having to go through all those um, steps so I'm going to click next actually scroll down I'm going to click next and the installation is doing prerequisite checks and here are uh, some a few warnings this is not a showstopper, so you can just click install to install. This will take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the recording and welcome back. All right, it wants to reboot. I'm going to click close. Let's reboot the server. All right, now it's been reboot it. I'm going to click log in. All right, I'm going to launch Subway Manager. Click on Tools. Let's go to Active Directory Users and Computers. Also, I'm going to launch the Active Directory Site and Services. Here it is. So it is working now. Let's go to Active Directory Site and Services. I should see one default site service and it's one domain controller. 
that's it thank you for watching if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful day